The stakes could hardly be higher for Theresa May as she makes her international debut at the G20 summit in China. The British Prime Minister took office tasked with implementing Britain's vote to leave the European Union. Now she's trying to smooth over relations with allies like the U.S. and Japan and major trading partners like China. On the eve of the summit, Japan warned of drastic consequences to investment in Britain. May and U.S. President Barack Obama put a positive spin on differences over the EU exit, which Obama had strongly cautioned against. Uh, and today we've discussed how to take forward consultations to ensure that the U.K. and U.S. have the strongest possible trading relationship. It was a wide-ranging conversation, but it began with the basic premise that uh, even as the U.K. pursues an orderly exit from the EU, uh, together we reaffirm uh, the very special relationship between the United States and the United Kingdom. May has said that London will set out in the coming week how it plans to shape its relationship with the European Union after leaving the bloc. And she had a cordial meeting with Russian leader Vladimir Putin, despite tense relations over Ukraine and Syria. There are some complex and serious areas of concern and, and issues to discuss. I hope we will be able to have a frank and open relationship and dialogue. Putin signaled he wants a better relationship with the UK. It is obvious to everyone that you and your team are facing very complex challenges, but everyone else is facing very difficult goals as well. I hope that we are able to advance our bilateral relations to a higher level than they are today. With G20 leaders expected to mount a strong defense of free trade and globalization in the wake of the Brexit vote, May could cut a lonely figure at her coming out party.